Hi, and welcome to JRDS Quick Tips series. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove scaffolding from your kit models. So let's get started. So, first things first, you'll probably want a piece of model. <laughs> so, I've gone for this one. Um, I think it's quite a good example of... Um, just different points that we can have a look at as we go through there. So we have our model piece. Um, we've got our clippers. We've got our scalpel. We have our little bit of sandpaper. This is 600 grit and this comes with your kit. Um, another thing that we have, which uh, has been dubbed the magic sanding tool. Um, <laughs> and these are fantastic because not only have you got a nice hard surface there, but um, you can move your sandpaper around. You can get into details with this little corner too. So it's a, a pretty handy little tool for what we are doing today. Um, so I'll just pop that here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these clippers here. Now you'll see with model making clippers, you can see that, um, there's one edge that sort of, there's one edge that sort of is flush. So that's that edge. And then there's another edge that comes in at an angle. So you're going to want to make sure that, that you're using these in the right way. If you can kind of see that. They do have a, they've got a bend on them. Um, so you, you want to make sure that where it's snipping, that nice flat edge is going to be the edge closest to your model piece. So let's just get started. Um, so I'm just going to start on uh, these side pieces here. And I'm just going to see if you can oh, see if we can get a good angle on that for you. Oh, there we go. That's nice. So as you can see, I've got my flat edge there. I'm just snipping that away. And I'm just going to go around and I'm going to snip off these little contact points. It's quite good to be aware of where on the model your uh, your piece is going to fit. Now this one just popped off quite nicely there. So uh, <laughs> that was quite easy. That does happen sometimes. And it's worth checking just around where your, um, where your contact point says. Make sure that nothing's broken as you've taken that off. They're pretty robust models. So you're not going to hard to break them. Um, and then, so that one came off pretty easy. <laughs> so we'll see if the same one does the same. The uh, the other one does the same now. So I'm just snipping that away, snipping that away. And often, what I quite like to do, um, just to make sure that I'm not getting any, um, so that I can get access to the underneath if it's a more difficult area, um, is I just like to snip away any of the excess scaffolding, um, or supports, as they're sometimes called. Um, and that just gives me better access to see what it is that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing or, or getting at. These bits are a little bit more, um, a little bit more delicate and that's okay. So I'm just going to run the scalpel through that bit. There we go. And that's us. It came off pretty easy, didn't it? Fantastic. So what you'll be left with here is your two pieces. Um, and if you look along closely, you'll see where all your uh, the attachment points have kind of come. So you get a little bit that just sits slight, slightly proud there. Um, don't worry about that because we're going to move on to the next stage. So this is quite a high, uh, low grit sandpaper. So we don't really want to be using too much of that. The 600 is, um, is kind of preferable. But if you have any like, really sticky out bits that you need to deal with, this is this is kind of the the badger you'll be using um i think i might just use it a tiny bit so another thing just to say as well is that you can use the edge of your knife and just scrape away <laughs> scrape away these wee excess pieces um but this is actually quite a sort of delicate area we don't have any kind of good examples of big contact points on this one both fortunately and unfortunately because i want to use it as an example um so here we go just taking off that one there and then i'm just going to use this sandpaper where possible try and use a circular motion sometimes that's not possible and that's okay there we go and you can see that start to come away a little bit Another thing that I didn't quite mention on this as well is um, sometimes you'll want to do a little bit of a wet sand on these, um, but we will get to that sort of technique in a wee bit. So there's a little bit of, there we go. 
this. And what I'm doing is just very lightly just using the, um, the weight of the paper pretty much. And I'm just taking off those wee high points. You can see that that's a lot smoother now. You can still see some bits just up and along there. Let's take those off too. And then even actually, it's quite nice just to sort of compare your pieces. I don't know how well you can see these. So this is the one that's uh, not been sanded yet. And this is the one that still needs done. So you can actually see the difference in that and just that slightly rougher edge. Sometimes maybe a little bit easier if you hold them there. Ah, yeah, you can see that now. You can see that rough edge just along there. So it's quite nice to be able to feel your progress as well. Um, so once again, I'm just going to quickly do this one. I'm just going to take this one just to take those top edges off. Very gently. You don't want to overdo this. And you can always come back as well. So we have to anticipate the dry fit when we're doing this too. Anything that we might think might be a high point. Um, just be aware of that. Um, flash points normally cause things to jam a little bit. So um, you'll find that out in the dry fit. So this is just more of an initial sort of sand and neaten up. And then when we get to the point of kind of sticking it all together or test fitting it before we stick it together, um, you'll need to do a little bit more so don't throw your sandpaper away at this stage when you think that you're done you'll still need it um, now don't be scared of you know using these these tools and equipment um, you will get used to it if you're not used to using these things just be careful slow and steady wins the race um, I believe in you you can do it <laughs> now last little bits I'm really happy with this. It's come off really clean. Um, it's really great. I hope this tutorial on scaffold removal was helpful. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. I think that was good.